Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing some walkthrough solves for you. Uh, I'll do about five solves and then uh, you can find scrambles and uh, full reconstruction of each solve and how I do it in the description. Uh, and then if you want to find my algorithms for my OLL and PLL, because I'm just going to do them and not say them to you, you can go onto my website under the tab algorithms uh, it will drop down and give you an option for 3x3 and you can go to OLL and PLL and there you will find my OLLs and PLLs that I use uh, so let's get started so uh, for inspection um, I see this X cross pair in blue this red pair Already whites already, and then yellows right here. Um, so to start, uh, I would do a U. I'm gonna set this up so that when I put that one into place, this one into place, that's there. Boom. Um, next, I see these two. So I'd go like that and insert it in the back. Then here I. That's a set algorithm that I know. Um, and then I see these two, so I go like that. Okay, then this OLL. Pretty simple. And it's just a G perm. Pretty easy. So for inspection, um, look around the cube, orange looks okay, uh, but so does white, um, it does help being color neutral, so we'll do white. Uh, so I see this one, uh, if I can go, if I put this one in front of here and bring that down, those will be in the correct color scheme. The green and white is back here, and the orange is right here, uh, so I would do this. And then that puts those two in place. Um, then I could bring this one down and this one in. Um, then I see this pair match it up and put it into the correct spot. And I see these two. Let's see, and then these two. And lastly, those two. Okay, um, and then OLL, PLL. Well, pretty simple solve. So for inspection, I see orange. Uh, you have orange white here in the correct spot. This only has to go over, and then the other two are on top. Uh, so to start, I would go over like that, put that in place. Also do a U prime, puts this one in place. So go and then an F2, B2. Um, so I don't see any on top, so I'm going to rotate, and then I see these two, and then you can put that in place right there. Um, these two. Um, it has to be there, because it's not here, or on top. Okay, and then... Again, this out. And a Z perm. Not that bad. So for inspection, I see... Blue, blue side looking. So it's red. Um, I'd probably uh, I'd probably go for blue actually, because you have this here is opposite. This here is opposite. You can put this in without messing that up, and then you can just do a D two and put that down. Uh, so let's do that. So. Preserve that piece. Saw so, uh, those two. 
these two, these two, and then these two. Easy or deeper. Cool, nice solve. For inspection, um, I see yellow. Ooh, nice. So this one's lined up opposite. Um, if I insert this one, it will pop this up. I can put it down, and then I can do a D2 and put that one into place. Uh, so let's do that. Pretty simple. Uh, the next one I see, I see these two. And these two. Now oh, that brought up those. And then those. Um, a little bit harder all on. And then an arc room. Not bad. Hey guys, so thanks for watching that video. Uh, if you're new to 3x3, hopefully that helped you out and taught you some new finger tricks and how I would solve the 3x3. Um, if not, you guys can critique me. Uh, I know on solve 3, I screwed up pretty bad. I could have done a different insertion on the third F2 all pair. Um, but other than that, those were decently good solves, all at uh, about 15 seconds, uh, which is pretty good to, for me. If you guys look below, you'll find reconstructions of each of the five solves. Uh, and then there'll also be a link to each of the pages on my website that have my OLLs and PLLs so you guys can uh, look at those. Um, hopefully you can follow along and understand. Um, and so thanks guys. Uh, see you next time.